Hey, what's up, guys? Um, I'm gonna start this new thing. Uh, I'm gonna start making beats and share with you guys the process of how I build um, beats. Basically, I'm working on Ableton Live, uh, and I'm a very sample-centric kind of person. I don't usually play on my MIDI, but uh, for this track, I've played a few keys. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I have done a little bit on my Ableton, as you can see. Uh, what I came up with, this. So, I started out with this, and now, I'm gonna start building layers on top of it. So we'll see how it goes. Enjoy.
för det är då är Sometimes I just don't like the um, the sustain of the 808, so I'll just cut it. So we have a little bit of space down here uh, to work on. Silence. Hush. So you have a feel of that uh, variation and also that emotions play along to it. The sudden snap or stop. So that's how I like to um, create my 808 basically. So let's have a listen again. So basically I've added um, the 808 and as you can see we really have like some sort of like a clap down here right but usually I uh, I will add uh, a layer uh, a clap and also a kick uh, just to support that uh, the, that punchiness of uh, is that a word <laughs> punchiness uh, the punch of the beat so basically now as you can see the volume uh, i've yet to do the gain stage uh, for the volume of the track so usually i'll keep it to like minus 12 minus 6 around there and just to make sure that i'll have the uh, best volume for for individual tracking so yeah man so currently we already have the 808 uh that's usually how i build my 808 uh, I don't play it, uh, I don't click on anything, I'm just uh, copy pasting and manipulating it via Ableton Live. So uh, let's have a listen again to the 808. Snap. Yeah, usually the back part down here, I'll, I'll add more 808 just to fill it up, uh, have a variation between the first part of the beat and the second part of it. Uh, and also, I like very much to add uh, miscellaneous or uh, 
percussion sound behind the tracking or behind the track so that you have that bounce you know just that uh, uh. yeah and usually what I'll do is I will copy and I will delete some parts right and uh, just like leave this so that I can create more variation uh, on top of it so basically let's just do that uh, maybe I'll leave this and I'll just have that yeah just like that uh, delete this and I'm oh, sorry this and yeah I'll have like something like this and So once I have that, I can go uh, dip even deeper because now it's already uh, minus 10 semitones. Then I'll just make it. So you have, you know, see, you can hear that variation. So this one could be five semitones. So if you can hear that, very repetitive right so I'll just change it up so, yeah so you have that and usually for the effects uh, I'll just put it on bus so we'll have a consistent uh, effect on it like echo or reverb or distortion or whatsoever so I'll have a, a, a bass uh, sound but we can go a little bit more deeper after that and uh, change it up so let's continue building let's talk and let's go man the 808 I'll duck the uh, 808 later on so we'll have some room for the EQ so that it won't clash uh, this is something that uh, I learned just besides making beats uh, the EQ part of things so I know some of you might think like hey Rao there's a better way for you to make your drums lah bro come on you can just uh, play it on your keyboard or on your MIDI or on your on your MPD but I just like this process uh, like this is this has been my process since uh, I started making beats I like to you know like just put it accordingly so I know it's tedious but it works do, do, do. Yeah, man. a little off from the 808 so that you can hear that you know that difference lah. Have 
here. Maybe one more here. Da, da, da. Oops. Then we'll just end it off with a simple tree beat. So uh, if you guys are wondering what I did, uh, basically we already have the 808 right here, right? So I just added another layer of oomph uh, just underneath the 808. So have a listen. When you have everything together, it will sound something like this. Yes, and then uh, the next step is basically I will add uh, a layer of clap uh, just to have that extra underneath that simple uh, percussion that we already have as the snare so we have this but we need to you know uh, add another layer to it just like vocals man like uh, you have the harmonization in making beats we have this as well but it depends on how you're gonna mix uh, at the end of the day so that it won't sound very harsh so now let's find a snare or a clap to go underneath that uh, existing snare that we already have in the percussion so let's just find i'll usually find a layer uh the eq a little bit more thinner than what we have thinner eh? uh more thin uh, and so it won't sound uh, it will have that support lah, basically Not so overpowering as well. Mm, this works. Let's go. Let's add that here. So. So the easier way to work is basically you just find this wave. So when I make beats. Uh, I will usually look at the waves more than listening. I don't know if it makes sense, but uh, maybe some producers out there, they know what I'm saying. We usually follow the waves. Uh, we read through waves in instead of just, uh, just listening to it. So what we really have here is this. So it's simpler. I'll just copy and duplicate that. So we have this as uh, before as the the snare you hear that pa, 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 pa. so now i just added this so you can hear that extra extra layer on top of that percussion so to make it more wild we can play with the reverb you can hear it more now So now, okay, let's build more. Now I'm just looking for hi hats. Uh, just to add more bounce to the to the beat that we already have right now. Um, let's go with a loop. Let's find a loop with hi hats. Just a simple hi hat will do, man. Then we will manipulate it later in Ableton. Okay, let's have that one. Let's uh, just put it in. So we have this layer right here. Now we need to do is make it more interesting. Let's have a listen first before we change it up. So 
So without, it sounds very uh, empty. Right? So with. So you have that bounce, right? So basically what I like to do also with regards to adding hi-hats, I like it to travel uh, on my headphones. I don't like it in one spot. So basically I'll just do a random, uh, just find it's either around the head or subtle stereo or suitcase auto pen. So basically I'll just do a subtle one. So when you hear it, uh, I don't know because I'm currently recording mono on my OBS. But when I render this out, uh, you can hear that the hi-hats is not going to be on one spot, it will travel. As you can see, um, I'll just boost a little bit of the highs. Uh, later on, we will tame it down uh, in the final mix. So this is what I have so far. And since the music is pretty dark, uh, sometimes also I will bring down the semitone to accordingly lah basically so sometimes it will sound like and to add variation let's just split this up and we'll go back to a normal semitone uh, to zero so this is currently on minus five this is currently on zero so So when you listen to the music, you have that different emotions, you know, that dark and then some, and then suddenly you have that bright uh, hi-hat. So let's have a listen to what we already have. To make it more interesting, let's uh, switch it up a little bit and we'll just add a little bit more down here, maybe one more here, 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 and yeah, and it should work. Maybe we split this and we can add one more down. A little bit more adventurous let's go closer to it yeah so you have that triplet and let's add one here for that triplet maybe we can add one more So usually guys, that's how I create my beats. Uh, we will go a little bit more in depth uh, with regards to how complex uh, we can get uh, when we are playing with or adding samples into your beats because with just one shot uh, of a sound, we can manipulate, we can create wonders with it so this is what i have so far and the next step is basically i will arrange the beat accordingly then the next step is to gain stage basically bring down the volumes uh, make sure it doesn't distort but nowadays some beats uh, most producers they want it distorted uh, by any means there's no such thing in uh, there's no such thing as wrong in creating 
uh, it sets apart uh, how different you are from the rest of producers. So for those of you guys out there who are aspiring producers, don't be afraid. Just uh, go all out, experiment. And uh, you have to please yourself first before pleasing others. So uh, that's all for now. I'll be sharing the beats uh, on my Instagram. So please, uh, wow, this is the first time I'm doing YouTube. So please subscribe if you like uh, what you see. Uh, write something in the comment. Tell me what you want to watch or what you want to see more of beat making, music making, whatever, man. I'm trying my best to share as much as I can. So, uh, continue creating and continue to have a great day see you guys on the next one and peace